The goal for today is to see the entire spooky village all set up, lights going, music playing, all of the tiny accessory pieces placed where they're supposed to be. So a few days ago, it was only the platform. It, everything was still in the boxes. So hopefully I've given it enough time for everything to be put out. I have a couple of options for Michaels around here. So we're just gonna work our way down until hopefully we see everything all put up. No luck at this stock. Everything was still in the boxes and the display platform wasn't even up yet. Although I did get to see underneath like what all comes with the platform because the other day I grabbed this little brochure that they have. I that they had a couple of options. So there's like a mossy mat and then also a platform. It's right next to all of the little spooky boxes and like everything that's there. You can see all the accessories that we're gonna be expecting. However, we did see a little bit of their Halloween floral line. This is something I watch out for every single year because their planters make the best yarn bowls. The skull with the neck bones was probably my favorite so far. Although that snake, I really liked that one. I just don't do a lot of gold with my decorating, but it was really unique. So I might have to make an exception this year. The skull that hangs, maybe make a little macrame piece or something to go on that, add some more yarn to it. The planter with a bunch of crushed skulls on the outside. There's a lot of places that I would like to use that with, not just yarn. Since that one's a little bit taller, I'd probably use maybe as like a display. They had the little diorama pumpkins underneath. Right now, there's an option for the classic orange pumpkin and then also a black pumpkin. And above that, just so many pieces. There's moss and stuff with the floral too. So you can kind of like pick and choose and make your own little spooky display in there. The witchy pieces were fantastic in this. They had little cauldrons little pots with potions in it, books. The trick-or-treat bag also was really cool. There was like a couple of them and it was a bag, like there was stuff inside it. Pretty much this entire line. I'm gonna be excited to see the full collection. For the floral, saw a lot of black, white, and dark purple. Big fan of that. We had a return of the glitter floral pieces. I filmed a little bit of it for you, but I was not gonna pick it up because I do not wanna be covered in glitter for the rest of the day. So yeah, that is not my favorite line. I liked the colors that they used, but I tend to stay away from the glitter pieces. Last stop was the charm. We saw everything all set up, except for a couple of accessory pieces, but they at least had the stickers on the platform, so I knew what was gonna go there. I love this year's theme. It's pretty much everything that I wanna do to have the spookiest day in October. We have the roller coaster ride, which is probably my favorite out of all of them. If I had to pick, that one was cool just because of the moving parts and the music that was going on there. Roller coasters in October are the best things. You can wear a sweater, you won't be all sticky on the ride, and there's cool air blowing. You can smell pumpkin pie, apple fritters, pumpkin spice funnel cakes. I mean, just like that ambiance right there. The Living End Exotic Plants, those colors. We had a lot of slimy green on that one. Another big piece was a cursed ruin, and this one is supposed to be where there's like smoke coming out of it. So I guess, I don't know that I can choose the roller coaster as my favorite now. When I saw it, it was just plain, but when you look back on the box, 
it does say that, you know, there's going to be smoke that comes out of it. That's another really cool feature. Lots of purple, lighting everywhere, the smoke and mirror magic shop with the ghosts that were appearing and the magician outside like levitating that human. Creepy pumpkin patch. I feel like it's just a classic. You can't have a good Halloween season without hitting up a pumpkin patch. On the top window, we had this little pumpkin dude just hanging out. Lots of zombies all around on that one. Madness Manor had a lot of ghosts in it, kind of blinking in and out. Lots of spooky eyeballs on the outside of it. The piece that was missing on there was nothing like a hot bath, which was a skeleton just kind of chilling in a cauldron. I feel like I really want that piece. It was just so cool on the slimy green. Who am I kidding? Anything slimy green, I will find a spot for that in my house. So no matter what piece I got from this line, I would need that to go with it too. The trick or treaters parade, we had a bunch of little ghouls all dressed up in costume, spinning around this super spooky tree that had pumpkins hanging from the branches. Oh, and the Broken Bell Telephone Co. When I saw it in the box, I didn't think that it was going to be one of my favorite pieces, but there was so much detail in this one. I mean, just skeletons going about their life in this booth with old timey telephones. There was one hanging out of the window. There was a big bell on the outside too. So yeah, through and through, there was not a single piece that I didn't like from this line, which is pretty impressive because normally there's at least one that I'm like, hmm, I could pass on that this year. Not for 2024. I love every single big piece and also all the accessories. Like I just love everything as a whole. No complaints. But let me know what you think. Do you love this year's theme? And are you going to add any pieces to your own spooky village? For now, I'm going to let you ghouls go. So thanks for hanging out with me. Halloween home decor hunting. Have a super spooky rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video.